Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to learn in details about production facilities for low quantity production, medium quantity production, and high production, along with the different floor layouts used in these particular production facilities. We are studying introduction and overview of manufacturing. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Production facilities consist of the factory and the production, material handling, and other equipment in the factory. The equipment comes in direct physical contact with the parts and or assemblies as they are being made. The facilities touch the product. Facilities also include the way the equipment is arranged in the factory, which is called the plant layout. The equipment is usually organized into logical groupings. In our discussion classes they will be called manufacturing systems, such as an automated production line, or a machine cell consisting of an industrial robot and two machine tools. A manufacturing company attempts to design its manufacturing systems and organize its factories to serve the particular mission of each plant in the most efficient way. Over the years, certain types of production facilities have come to be recognized as the most appropriate way to organize for a given combination of product variety and production quantity, as we have discussed in our previous classes. Different types of facilities are required for each of the three ranges of annual production quantities. Low quantity production falls in the low quantity range of 1 to 100 units per year. The term job shop is often used to describe the type of production facility. A job shop makes low quantities of specialized and customized products. The products are typically complex, such as space capsules, prototype aircraft and special machinery. The equipment in a job shop is general purpose, and the labor force is highly skilled. A job shop must be designed for maximum flexibility to deal with the wide product variations encountered, for hard product variety. If the product is large and heavy, and therefore difficult to move, it typically remains in a single location during its fabrication or assembly. Workers and processing equipment are brought to the product rather than moving the product to the equipment. This type of layout is referred to as a fixed position layout, shown in this figure. In a pure situation, the product remains in a single location during its entire production. Examples of such products include ships, aircraft, locomotives, and heavy machinery. In actual practice, these items are usually built in large modules at single locations, and then the completed modules are brought together for final assembly using large capacity cranes. The individual components of these large products are often made in factories in which the equipment is arranged according to function or type. This arrangement is called a process layout. The lathes are in one department, the milling machines are in another department, and so on, as in this figure. Different parts each requiring a different operation sequence, are routed through the departments in the particular order needed for their processing, usually in batches. The process layout is noted for its flexibility. It can accommodate a great variety of operation sequences for different part configurations. Its disadvantage is that the machinery and methods to produce a part are not designed for high efficiency. Medium quantity production in the medium quantity range of 100 to 10,000 units annually, two different types of facility are distinguished, depending on product variety. When product variety is hard, the usual approach is batch production, in which a batch of one product is made, after which the manufacturing equipment is changed over to produce a batch of the next product, and so on. The production rate of the equipment is greater than the demand rate for any single product type, and so the same equipment can be shared among multiple products. The changeover between production runs takes time, which includes time to change tooling and set up the machinery. This setup time is lost production time, and this is a disadvantage of batch manufacturing. Batch production is commonly used for make-to-stock situations, in which items are manufactured to replenish inventory that has been gradually depleted by demand. The equipment is usually arranged in a process layout, 
as in this figure. An alternative approach to medium-range production is possible if product variety is soft. In this case, extensive changeovers between one product style and the next may not be necessary. It is often possible to configure the manufacturing system so that groups of similar products can be made on the same equipment without significant lost time because of setup. The processing or assembly of different parts or products is accomplished in cells consisting of several workstations or machines. The term cellular manufacturing is often associated with this type of production. Each cell is designed to produce a limited variety of part configurations, that is, the cell specializes in the production of a given set of similar parts, according to the principles of group technology. The layout is called a cellular layout, depicted in this figure. High production The high quantity range, from about 10,000 to millions of units per year, is referred to as mass production. The situation is characterized by a high demand rate for the product and the manufacturing system is dedicated to the production of that single item. Two categories of mass production can be distinguished, quantity production and flow line production. Quantity production involves the mass production of single parts on single pieces of equipment. It typically involves standard machines, for example, stamping presses, equipped with special tooling, for example, dies and material handling devices, in effect dedicating the equipment to the production of one part type. Typical layouts used in quantity production are the process layout and cellular layout. Flow line production involves multiple pieces of equipment or workstations arranged in sequence, and the work units are physically moved through the sequence to complete the product. The workstations and equipment are designed specifically for the product to maximize efficiency. The layout is called a product layout, and the workstations are arranged into one long line, as in this figure, or into a series of connected line segments. The work is usually moved between stations by mechanized conveyor. At each station, a small amount of the total work is completed on each unit of product. The most familiar example of flow line production is the assembly line, associated with products such as cars and household appliances. The pure case of flow line production occurs when there is no variation in the products made on the line. Every product is identical, and the line is referred to as a single model production line. To successfully market a given product, it is often beneficial to introduce feature and model variations so that individual customers can choose the exact merchandise that appeals to them. From a production viewpoint, the feature differences represent a case of soft product variety. The term mixed model production line applies to these situations in which there is soft variety in the products made on the line. Modern automobile assembly is an example. Cars coming off the assembly line have variations in options and trim representing different models and in many cases different nameplates of the same basic car design. So, we have studied in details about about production facilities for low quantity production, medium quantity production and high production, along with the different floor layouts used in these particular production facilities. Thank you.